You're, you're, you're listening to the Worldwide Sports Radio Network. You, you, you know what you are? You're a popcorn salesman. Worldwide Sports Radio presents the, 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 the home stretch. All right, let's hit the field with, with, with Tyler and friends. Hello! Welcome to the home stretch. I'm your host, Tyler Harrison, along with Speedy Petey. And ladies and gentlemen, do not adjust your Facebook. Do not adjust any type of radio equipment you may or may not be using right now. Rodney Harris is here. Yes, Woo! yes. I am in the building. I am here. Woo! Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm doing good. Doing good. This Thursday is about five months late, but he's here. I, I, I'm <laughs> sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm, listen, every time I want to get on this show, something happens. So I, it's That's like what she it's, said. it's bad luck. I'm, I'm telling you right now, I have, the, I have the worst luck in the world. The end of 2019 was crazy for me. Like I, I have to cut things out of my life right now. I have so much different things going on. I have to slow down. I really do. I've been running myself ragged, and man, I tell you. I miss talking sports, man. I've been talking wrestling every Sunday. I, I want to talk Rest- regular sports for once in a while. I need uh, to. Can I ask you a quick wrestling question? Sure. Why is Triple H an asshole? That's Paul Levesque, for those of you who don't. My favorite wrestler in the world, and that's the reason why my my confirmation name is Paul, after Paul Levesque. Um, confirmation name? Yes. Yes, I'm Catholic. For those of you who don't know what a confirmation is. Anyway. Ha! Um. Yes, why is he an asshole, you asked? Yeah. Like, uh, do you know the story about what's going on with him, with Paige and him making the joke? Yes. Um, that, that joke to me isn't fun. But here's the thing. If, that would, if, he, if somebody would have said that about Steph, they'd be fired today. Oh, 100%. So, <laughs> so <laughs> That's why I called that, him an asshole. That, that, he is an asshole for doing that, but I appreciate H for going back and apologizing. Absolutely. Talking to Paige and being a real manning, manning up, knowing that you made a mistake. Well, did he, did he talk not, to Paige? Or did he give her a call? Like, you know, I was just trying to get, you know, I was just kidding. And, uh, you know. Uh, did he see him punker? Like, I tried to call you four times. I left two voicemails, man. I'm not going to do it again. So, it's either you come play the game or you don't. Pick one. Look, at, at the end of the day, Triple H, you're wrong, man. And, you know, I, I got nothing but love for H. But he's wrong for that one, man. You're out of pocket. And I'm happy that you stepped up like a man and went on social media. It's like I was wrong. I apologize if I offended May, if when I, that I offended Paige and I offended anybody else that was listening. I am sorry. And that's what you do with a, when you're a real person. When you're a real person, you make a mistake. You know you you messed up. If you effed up, own up to it. Be a man and come out there and and face face the people. Because he caught heat, man. I oh, said, he's still catching. Woo! He was. I don't know if he was he trending. I know I that video so. was trending, though. Yes. Yes, what? Was. I was like, and you even like it was like, you know what made me really like? We're gonna get to Aaron Hernandez, which is ironic because yeah. everything you just described is pretty much Aaron Hernandez. But Triple H, like when he cracked the joke, there was one guy, like two or three guys in the room that gave like that awkward like. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, thanks, thanks. I'm dying over here, thanks. Yeah, and like he like, never got the gesture of like stop. <laughs> <laughs> he never got oh ah oh, damn oh. Right. His brain, brain and mouth were not communicating at the moment. I hate <laughs> and, when that happens. And it, oh, it happens a lot, man. When you're going, you're just going, and you're like, oh, I can't take that back. So it's you gotta be, you gotta be, especially for him, be mindful of what you're doing, man. Right. Come on, like if he was just a wrestler, that's one thing. You're CEO of a company now, yeah. like come on. Yeah, man, you cannot do. If that. somebody says about your daughters, I'd be Damn very right. hard to imagine you'd be like. Oh, well, you know, it's just part of the gig. Suck it. Uh, you know, like that. I don't know. I, I, I've, I've had my rubs with him, so I, eh. No, I, this, this is one where I usually defend him all the way through, but I can't defend him. He, I can't defend him here, man. He, you broke a rule in, in the entertainment industry, not even in the wrestling industry. You just don't do certain things when you know you have skeletons in your closet. Mm-hmm. And you know that this world of the internet and social media, this era that we are in, is very, very much open, and you are leaving yourself wide open to whatever you've done in your past. Right. I'm just saying what Paige went through, everything that she did in her past, 
keep in mind, she was very young when all this was happening. She was a young person. Do not. Br- You're talking I about say, like Xavier Woods and all yeah, that. And, and everything. There's a lot of. There's a lot going there. The whole issue with Alberto Del Rio yeah. and and all that stuff. That's a lot, man. I would have just said, you know what? No comment. Move on. Don't bring it up. Just talk about something. They don't even else. ask him a question. Like, it wasn't even part of the question. There was no reason to even bring her up at all. This is what I was saying. Like, just stay away from certain things. You just side, sidebar. Do something else. Right. Like, uh, it's, no, no, DX might be reuniting. Re- re- I would have just segued yeah. into something if you even thought. Yeah, that you know, Paige and Edge. That's it. That's all I have. Yeah. Shawn Michaels is going to come back at WrestleMania 36. Goodbye. Yeah, you know, like. <laughs> I, I might be wrestling this April. I don't know. Like, just something. But he yeah, my peck doesn't give out for the 15th time. Man. Yeah. Man, Jesus. Yeah, that was brutal. You remember that? Oh, my God. That brute. Jesus. I can't believe it. Oh. That was nasty. But, but they, you know, to his credit, well, I guess to his credit, he came back with Batista and put on some sort of a match. Yeah, you know, H can still work. He can still go. Mm, um, he, easy, can't, he can't easy, move. Easy. He can't move the way he used to, man. He used to be. The Undertaker real. asleep could put on a better match than he can now. Ah. Well, no, the Undertaker's gimmick is literally well, able to go. Uh, if the Undertaker does one move, it's still part of the gimmick. That's, 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 that is true. That's His a gimmick is, I'm a fighting no, it has to be a hard. It has to be a no holds bar match, so so Sledgehammer right. can come out and right. high knee rolls into a pedigree, gets you the W. Occasional double A spawn buster here and there, and you know how it goes. Right, right, right. right. But Aaron Hernandez, right? Well, before we get to the oh. lead segue, right? So thank, thank you, very good, Rodney. I'm not Anthony Character. I actually have a format here. Oh well, I I. I I have been writing the format for our show. So, as you know, the Speedy, I'm not going to call him Speedy. I hate calling him Speedy. He knows that. I cannot stand calling him that. I'm going to call him by his name, okay? So, the, Kyle, how who, are you? Who the hell's Kyle? <laughs> I'm all right. How are you? Uh, yes, for those of you who don't know, I'm probably the only person that calls him Kyle. At you the are station. the only one at the show. Um, I call him Kyle, and I feel weird. No, like, I don't. I've listen, called you Kyle maybe twice. No, I'm going to call him by his name. My name is Kyle. I'm going to call him Kyle. All right? I think even he, his brothers call him Speedy now. I don't even think no, they do. No, they don't. No, they don't. <laughs> no. They, listen, he did a hell of a job in clipping, uh, clipping behind the barricade for us this week. And I loved what he did in the clip. And as soon as I walked in the door, I saw him. I shook his hand. I said, thank you. That was a great clip. I really appreciate it, Kyle. Thank you so much. And um, it was well done. You know, for a person that doesn't really know wrestling or listen to it, he knew exactly yeah, I only where know to go. Yeah, names from guest producing your show a couple times yeah, two years yeah. ago. You know, it's so he did a hell of a job for not even knowing what was going on. And he just picked it up from the conversation and knew exactly where to go and bang, bang, put it out. It was excellent. So thank you. So the format has been getting better, all right? It has been getting better. Plus, the character hasn't been there. Well, yes, he has. He actually has. He was on this Sunday. He was on this Sunday. You know he's on his way here. You know that, right? I think everybody's on their way here. Well, be, be careful what you say, man. He might come in here and sit down and it become, becomes a Tyler versus Carragher episode. He doesn't want that. <laughs> yeah, the, la- the last time that happened, he decided to claim that Mike Ford should have been on the playoff roster. Oh, Over Stanton. Over John Carlos Stanton. Oh, wow. I don't know that's your guy. Saying, that's I'm your guy too. To like you, there. you have to, you have to, you have to own him. Uh, I'm gonna disagree with that. I mean, I never said me and him agreed on everything. <laughs> you better say that. You better, I know, I you better say that. that. But and you better not. Uh, we don't agree. You better say like I don't agree with him on everything. Like, like you I said it who, as if you were hard pressed to find answers. No, listen, I don't agree with Anthony on a lot of things. Me and him, we do bump heads when it comes to wrestling. We do bump heads sometimes when it comes to sports. You bump heads. Yeah, that's aggressive. Yeah, let me tell you something. It's, it's we have opinions, man. And he's very strong about his opinion. I'm strong about mine. Strong hand. Yeah, I told like I told you. I wanted, I wanted Didi. I'm a Met fan, and I I love Didi. Right. Yeah. So he would have been a good sign. He would have been a in good the middle get. of the season. I was like Anthony. I'll give you anybody, anybody you want. I don't care. Just I want Didi on my team. I need him, please. I don't care who. I don't. All, I told you there's two you Yankees. You could have just signed him. Why would you I, trade for him? But at that time, oh, when okay. we were going all through right. the whole playoff push, I was like, and we would. This was before we kind of went in the playoff push, kind of late past the right, trade right. deadline. But I was like, if we trade for him right now, you know, and okay, we have him in, have him in in house. We can 
negotiate. We have a better right, right, relationship. Right, right, right. And I was like, yo, if we can get him in there, we got to trade somebody away. So who can I give away? I was like, at this point, I'll give away anybody at, except the Grom, but uh, anybody at this point. Conforto would have been probably even. Yeah, and I said also, I was like, you got to throw Chad, Chad Green in there. I'm a big Chad Green supporter. Mm, fan, so. You can have him for a bag of peanuts and rosin packs. There you go. <laughs> Let's go, please. Because I was like, well, that's before we lost Dylan Patances. You have Patances now, which is better than Chad Green. Yeah, which, quick side, I'm, I know we're going going off the rails here. How do you feel about that? The not the signing per se, but the money. Oh, it hurt. It, it, you, you it feel hurt. Like, you feel like the money was it hurt too me much? bad. No, I thought the Mets got him for a steal. Uh, okay. He's the best pitcher. He's the best reliever in baseball, not named Haraldus Chapman when he's on right. I th- it's absolutely – he's amazing. I agree with you. Beca- oh, I, I, well, hater, right. Josh hater, I, Josh hater. And I agree with you because – and I'm like telling me, you don't agree all the time either. I agree with you here because I thought it was the the safest signing the Mets ever done right. in Met history. Right. I, this could have <laughs> went – this is, this is probably – I was so scared. I was like, they're going to get this man like a 10-year deal and it's going to be like $150 million. I can't. No, that's not the Mets. And, they don't and, do that either. And, but like, <laughs> but see, they they will for a player just based off a name. You want to? And it shouldn't be anybody that should. They don't deserve that money. You like, what are you Pedro, doing? Pedro, Johan. Like you know, when you when you do things that's like this, Johan was pretty good. When Johan you was good. Pedro was on the well, tail Johan was a trade end. Too. That was a trade. Yeah, and Pedro's on the tail end of everything, so it's like kind of ah. Eh. He but was good though. He was solid. But when you got guys like Jason Bay and and Mo oh, Vaughn Jason and, Bay. Oh, Jason Bay. And bad. like when you get Bobby Bonilla. Oh, Bobby Bonilla. You're still paying him, by the way. Yeah, man. You can't do this. In 2015, Bobby Bonilla was the highest play, highest paid met on the payroll. You can't have that. <laughs> well, hold on. It, just to just to rub your salt in this a little bit more. Jesus. It was between him or Barry Bonds, and you didn't even pick Barry Bonds. This either. is what I'm saying. <laughs> like, uh, oh, I can't. I can't. I hate that franchise so much. So, so don't so be much. a fan. No, you know, I can't get Listen, this is the last time I'm going to offer to you. You can be a Yankee fan. You can take uh, Mike Guido's spot. I, I, have been, <laughs> I have been in more Yankee games. At least last Mike Guido wanted Stanton on the playoff roster. <laughs> this is this – Nah, is a, that's true. I'll give you Carragher's spot. <laughs> fun fact, I have been to more Yankee games last year than I have met games. I refuse, See, you're qualified. I said that <laughs> if this team – I give you till June. If you are not anywhere to the close of entertaining me by June – I am not wasting my money on your ticket. I'm not buying your merchandise. I'm not going to even give you viewership. I will go to a Yankee game. Hell, I'll go to a Long Island Ducks game. I've been to more Ducks games. You know last they're champions, year. right? They yeah. just they just won whatever league they're in. Yeah, the American I've Coast been, League I, or whatever. Atlantic. Atlantic. I yeah. I've been to more Duck games last year than I have Met games. You know, this Did is you a, go to a Met game? I went to one, and that was the Met game where Degrom pitched the gem. He hit the he the only run we had the whole game. He hit the home run, and oh. I was a standing. Room and that only. was like late in the season too, yes, wasn't it? Was it was in the middle of we were trying to push on to the playoff run, and it was like, oh my god, everybody's losing their minds. We're almost there. Oh my god, we're so amazing again. And I'm like, you guys know we're not making the playoffs, right? We we have a chance, but we're gonna screw this up because we had such a horrible June. It doesn't even matter now. You you should always, have won these you've had games. a bad June for like kind, 10 years. And that, kind of, and that and, kind of streak is just not attainable for a long time. Exactly. So you, you can. this is why those early games in the season are so damn important. Yes. You cannot be losing. You at least play 500. At least. You, your June you know is what? so bad. I'm actually glad you're here right now. Uh, I'm, I'm always glad you're here. But I am really glad you just brought up the Mets because – Carlos Beltran's about to get fired. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, my question to you. I was so upset you, with the Carlos Beltran signing that I was like, you know what? I hate it. Now here he's about to get why? fired. Why? Today's a new day. Well, n- um, not only that, I can. <laughs> I bet money I know who your next coach is. I know who? Um, Terry. Terry Collins. <laughs> Terry? I knew that was coming. Yeah, but it's, the triumphant return. Yeah, yeah. He wasn't. He didn't write. I don't even think he deserved to get fired. <laughs> I, I really don't. I mean, you're the Mets. It was a tough call either way. I don't think it was really Mr. Terry Collins. But I I thought Beltran was the perfect hire. The perfect hire. Listen, I I just don't believe in getting rid of a a manager that was. Oh, Callaway. Callaway's another one that doesn't deserve to get fired. And two years in, and then you go hire another rookie manager. 
it, it, it just didn't make a lot of sense to me. At that point, you should have just kept Mickey and, and just figured it out in the third year and said, you know what, this is the defining year for you. If we can't get to the next level with you at this point, then we're going to have to cut ties at the end of the season. You, you really just cut bait and then sign Carlos Beltran thinking that, oh, he's going to be the savior and save everything. You're wrong here. It, you've been down this road before. So let's not do it again. You had Joe Girardi right there. If oh, don't really bring up wanted, Joe Girardi to me. But, uh, but I, he the, should still be coaching the Yankees. At, that, at this point, we were, I was sitting there saying, you know, he's right there. Out of all people that you can – I would throw the house at him if I had to. They did. And Do you know why he didn't get the job? No, I don't know for – I can tell you. 100% fact, but – Brody Van Wigenden refused to let him run the team. Brody Van Wigenden went everything – well. At, at some point, you're going to have to let go of some – every manager, coach, somebody in sports always wants more control. And this Except AJ Hinch. Well, he just, wants, he just wants to look at people's signs and just – uh, and listen, we can go back and forth with that all the time. I just look it's, at them, steal them. Just take them. Just take them. I'm just taking this. Like, but it, video footage. How do you do? You think it was soft? I thought it was insanely soft. Um, the the, the punishment. Uh, I thought it was incredibly soft. Yeah, you know, I, <laughs> I have mixed feelings about it because I'm pretty sure he's not the only person that has stole signs. You're just the only person to actually get caught. Well, red hand well, by stealing signs. Hold, stealing signs yeah, with technology hold on. Or the guy on second naturally. base, like if Mike Trout's on second base, afraid that you know Joe Joe Adele listen. is going to strike out and strand him there, so he's telling him, "Listen, the sinker is going to be on your right hand side. Be aware of that." That to me isn't stealing sign. That's just right. baseball IQ of picking right. it up and being like, "Hey, hey, watch me here." Right. But but here's the thing. If we are going to sit here in 2020 and think that he, this is the only person that's doing this in the league, think again. Oh, no. So, oh, no, 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 no. He's the only he, person to get caught. Well, right? GM got fired, too. And also, I think there's going to be front office executives that are going to get caught as well because there was actually evidence and, of messaging and yeah. uh, messages that were just sent from the Astros offices and the, the press it goes boxes. Back, it goes back to the Patriots situation, right? Don't don't compare the two. And but but hear me it's out similar. here. They both used cameras. Cheating, cheating is cheating. <laughs> regardless, regardless of it's it's very similar. And cheat sneaking into someone's practice, recording that whole walkthrough right. to hiding up in the press box, watching a team that you know you can beat, and recording, which is baffling to me. And then you have this situation here. A lot of teams, I'm pretty sure, do it. But you, it's about how you do it. I'm not saying that was cool what they did. It was wrong. You shouldn't have done it. Why can't you beat them straight up? Oh, because you can't beat them straight up? That's what you're saying? <laughs> I'm just saying. I thought you had a good enough team to get the job done. The uh, Dodgers or, were a better team, but the Astros team was still good. you? <laughs> like, like, uh, did, like, it's like, did you really need to do all of that? Did you? Just think about it for a second. So you put yourself at risk. People losing their jobs. Probably won't even get another job in the league again. Hinch won't. I think and Hinch that's, is that's a shame. Yeah. I think I think you now will because you yeah. ruined your whole career, your whole. The, the, why for for what for to because you I always tell people what's done in the dark always comes to the light, mm-hmm. and especially when you're out here letting it all all hang out. How did this leak out? How did someone find out? Somebody had to speak. Somebody else. Mm-hmm. Somebody had to give them a reason to investigate into this. Mm-hmm. So clearly you trusted somebody that you thought was going to be cool with this, and they necessarily said, ah, we're not so cool with that. You know, it, it goes, I tell you, it, it's a crazy situation, man. And Yeah, you're, abs- you're right. The, the punishment should have been heavier. I think everybody that's involved, if your name got dropped within this investigation, you all should pay the punishment for the crime. I, all of you. Do you want to hear what I would have done? Go ahead. Okay. So I would have stripped away the World Series title. That would have mm-hmm. been the first thing. You're no longer World Series champs in the history books. 2017, there was no World Series played. This is exactly what I would say. Because ah. the Dodgers lost, so I'm not rewarding them either. So there's just a vacant World Series title. I'm suspending any All-Star you had at least 50 games. Jeez. And then I, I would have... So the, fi- the fine to me is nothing. All that is is $5 million extra dollars above the salary cap, basically. Then the, the draft picks, I think, are week two because it's a crapshoot. I would have avoided your two years of draft or four, three years of draft 
not a single pick in the draft. And I also would have not allowed you playoff eligible for five to ten years. Oh, my goodness. Um, well, I, I think that's a lot. But no, no, I, want, I, I, this can't happen again. The only one, the only thing I would s- s- disagree on is two parts. The suspending the All Stars fifty games, they benefited from it, and they were the ones actually doing it. I, I and I and I get it. The problem is they might not have evidence of specifically. Yeah, who we don't yet. know like who 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 specifically was doing it, like. Which all stars? Right. Now we got. Well, to... there's no guarantee every player was involved yeah. in the scam. No, but if you're an all star, chances are you're you benefited more than everyone else. That's why your stats are better. This is one, but uh, what mm. taking yeah, the World Series championship away? That is one that really rubs me the wrong way because I hate when the NCAA takes away national championships from people. Same way I hate when they take away Heisman's from people that just sell their own stuff that has their name written on it. Right. So it. A little bit of different difference. It's a little bit of a much big, big difference there from a Heisman to a national championship to a World Series title. But I just think that it, that's something that the game has never done. It would be right. Oh my God, to people. Like, you, you, you might, somebody might what, have a would heart it happen again? off their chair. <laughs> like, but would it happen again? Absolutely not. There it is. <laughs> like, that's why I'm that's taking I'm going away with. World Series championships. We're never going to steal signs again. That's not happening. Right, that's so, what that, that and that's what the job is as a commissioner. The, They'll never the, have that happen again. But the biggest argument you'll get was, well, baseball's been through a lot over the years, and you've been through a steroid scandal. You've been and through, are those steroid players in the Hall of Fame? Half of them are not. No, are not, and that's why they're paying the price for it right now. It's, right. So it's and are we got guys doing steroids right now? Will it stop it? We don't know. It's right. almost. It's almost. That's There's only almost, really one guy that if he got caught on steroids, would. Ruin baseball forever. If it comes out, Mike Trout's on juice. Oh my goodness! Baseball's done forever. Oh my goodness! That's the don't, don't only guy that. that that would matter about. Don't say that. There's no <laughs> one. No, I, but he's the only one that would matter. Yes. He's the only one that could tarnish baseball. And here's the other thing, right? Ba- this is why baseball, I think, is in deep, deep trouble. When you think of baseball, Mike Trout's not the first name you mentioned. Is it? it's not. He's not even on the most watched team in his own city. Sadly. Cody Bellinger's name is thrown out more in California than Mike Trout's. And Mike Trout is undisputedly, no debate, no nothing, the best player on the planet right now. He has been for at least five years. Yep. And he's on the second viewed city on his own team. That's hard. That's hard it's to like Pete Alonzo right now. Yeah, it's hard to swallow, man. He's the best player in New York, and he's on the second most watched team. But you're right. If, if, if Trout... Gets caught on the juice. I think that it's would over. Tu- that would turn baseball on its on its head, man. And and then people would say, "Well, I can't trust the sport anymore. Right. I, I don't believe be in, I don't believe in anything baseball does anymore. Forget it now. It's all it's all to no- it's all for nothing. I'm not going right. to watch. Just all the speeding up the game and clocks and all this other stuff. All well, that pitch clock that's it. Me that's off. it. I'm done. I'm not watching it no more. Right. And people lose oh, lose faith. They lose hope mm-hmm. and. Listen, as a Met fan, I kind of lost faith and lost hope already. So I'm just waiting for baseball to mess up so I can say, you know what? I'm just going to cut you off entirely. So I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person that feels that way. <laughs> but it, it's hard to continue to be a baseball fan when you got every year it's something else. If it's not rule changes, it's scandal. If it's not scandal, it's someone cheating. If someone, someone cheating, it's, it, it's always something in the MLB that's going on, just like the NFL. It, oh. it just doesn't stop. Oh, the, the- there's a slight bit of a difference between the NFL. But, it, but it, tell me not. Is it not every time that the offseason happens, it's something that goes down that stops well, this from going right. on. Right, the NFL. And it's like, oh, my goodness, can we NFL's stop? The NFL is kind of in headway right now, too. Did you hear about Odell Beckham Jr.'s trouble? No, I did not. I didn't get the chance to hear about that. I did know he was number two trending worldwide after the LSU game and on to two day, the on to today. Whoever that is, whoever that is, tell them we're going to break because when we come back from break, me and Rodney are going to talk about you answer the phone. But um <laughs> you know. <laughs> Sorry, Rodney, I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh no, no, not, no. It's, I don't know who it is. We got would, an hour show today. I don't really feel like being disturbed too much. I'm I would, in, jo- I'm in jolly love, spirits. I would love to know what, about the Odell Beckham, Beckham situation. I do know he was there on the sidelines at the LSU Clemson National Championship game. A lot of fanfare there. President of the United States was there. Drew Brees was there. Drew Brees was there. Randy Moss like, watching the Sun play. It was good stuff, man. It was a star-studded event. Absolutely. 
So when we come back from break, we are going to hey, – is are they staying on through the break? He said he'll call back. Who was it? Carragher. <laughs> Duh. Is he on his way here? Oh, yeah. I told you he's coming. No, I know. You, I know he's coming I here. I know. Here. He didn't tell me. He's coming uh, for you. That's fine. So when we come back, uh, we got a couple different things to talk about. We will break the news to Rodney about why Odell Beckham Jr. is once again in trouble for absolutely no reason. We will talk about the Aaron Hernandez Netflix special that dropped this morning. If you have not watched it, I highly recommend you do so. I'll if you love documentaries this. or you love CSI or any of those criminal-minded shows, wow. this documentary is as good as it gets. And... Um, Damn, I had something A-B. else. And Antonio Brown. A B. Again, I, gotta, I, gotta I, 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 and yeah, no, I'm, I'm, yeah. Well, we yeah. <laughs> got a stretch you, for this. Yeah, one. you. Oh, what's that? What do you remember that shake weight was? Shake weight. Uh, yeah, that's what it was weight. called. Rodney's getting the shake weight ready. <laughs> because he Damn it, Antonio Brown. I'm so sick and tired of hearing his name. I think we need to put this to bed. Oh no, I I agree with you, but I think um, I think you'll. Probably agree with me a little bit on this one, too. Man's got problems, but we'll get to it. We will get to all that, and who knows? This show is always a little wacky. Maybe more. I don't know. Speedy, watch out! Oh, all right, never mind. He's not. He's boring today. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, all right. Yeah. Well, find out what happens next on the home stretch. You're, you're, you're listening to the Worldwide Sports Radio Network. And then the manager baseball team. Little League. Fantasy League. We are back, back, back with the home stretch on the Worldwide Sports Radio Network. Hello. Welcome back to the home stretch. A very uh, short episode, a special episode today because we. Uh, have a very important meeting to attend in about, uh, I don't know, 25 minutes, half hour, maybe an hour, because no one ever shows up to these things. But I'm here, so we're going to do the show anyway, as rightfully intended. Um, now, Anthony Car- I, you're not Anthony Carragher, I'm so sorry. So me and Rodney. Oh, Jesus, did, did, I get, did I get lighter all of a sudden? <laughs> Uh, no, pig, I pigment mutations. What, what just <laughs> happened? Like, no, I'm sorry. I apologize. Like, I don't. I, I've never done that. I don't know why. I don't oh, know. Oh man, that's funny. But um, me and uh, Rodney were just talking about um, the Odell situation. For those of you who do not know, LSU is now being investigated by the NCAA <laughs> because Odell Beckham Go Jr. Tigers. After, Go Tigers. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> They're out there in the borough. Yeah. Oh man. So. After the game of the national championship game, which we will talk about probably tomorrow, um, Odell Beckham Jr. was allowed field access, being a former LSU Tiger. Mm-hmm. And um, after the win, you could clearly see Odell Beckham Jr. on national televised television, counting money and uh, slapping it into you know all his all the guys' hands and. Uh, at first, people were like, "Oh, you know, that, that was funny. You know, he did the he did the monopoly thing." Carragher's back on the phone, or as you like to call him, Rodney. <laughs> Rodney Harris, thank you for calling. How may I help you? So I totally see how you got the confusion between me and Rodney. Totally see it. it happens all the time. Yes, but, it actually um, does. Actually, how? The baseball, real quick. As I'm excited to hear your take on the LSU thing, and I'm on the way to you guys now, so I can see you guys in a little bit. But real quick about the baseball thing, Tyler, me and you don't agree on anything whatsoever, and I, I hate to say it on this aspect, you are, again, completely incorrect with the everything. Um, the suspensions and the fines and the whole nine yards, the suspensions are fine, so I'll give you that. But the fine was the maximum amount given by Major League Baseball. Well, it could have been any more. Like, I watched the show yesterday, he said $50 million. That couldn't have been a thing because it's $5 million. Um, I gave an amount that I would have fined them? Well, I think you gave an amount last night. I think you did, yeah. Oh, sounds right. Um, so, you also said they should be stripped of the 2017 title. Yeah. Now, that to that me is not a question. Up, that opens up an entire 
Pandora's box that I don't think MLB wants to even even look at, get along open. And Anthony, so it, it, to Anthony's point, that's what happened in NCAA when they stripped national championships because it opens well, up a thing, door. Hear here's the thing, hear me out. Stripping it of, uh, of, from the Astros is 100% cosmetic because what are you going to do, have like a blank year there? Yeah, Everyone's absolutely. Year, they keep Lockout. It. Okay, but, but now let's look at the other things. Our other World Series now tainted because due to integration. Yeah. Our other World Series tainted due to Yeah, the next year you had a cheating no. team do it too. That's it. I want the Yankees 2000 World Series stripped because they were always on steroids. That's it. <laughs> Strip it. No, that's, that's the Take problem. it away. The Mets wouldn't have you one. Know? We would just have one less. <laughs> that's now, true. But now it even goes away for, it even goes to World Series. It goes to records. That is true. You know, the single season home run record. Well, you know, gone. Some people view it as Pew. what it is because of the steroid error. Well, and hold on, hold on, dude. Who really can? I know a lot of people, and especially the generations before us, that do not consider Barry Bonds the home run king. They no, consider they Hank Aaron the home run king, and they the always the day, will. At the end of the day, the correct answer to that question is Barry Bonds. My right, record. that's on, what the records will on, say, and that's the answer paper, I will give. On paper, it will be Barry Bonds. Correct. And, but and, and here's the thing. popular opinion, Hank Aaron. On paper, in the MLB record books, it would forever be known home run king Barry sure. Bonds. It should, it should be Hank Aaron. Mm-hmm. But the correct answer to that question is Barry Bonds. Yep. So right. if you turn around and you strip the 2017 title, you now have to look into, because of, because of an asterisk, because of cheating, you now have to look into every single record and every right. single championship and more see what was going on. All right, so the, the 19, you know, 23 New York Yankees, it, there was no integration in baseball yet. So that should be its own classification? Or you look well, at, all right, the... I mean, know, the Chicago the Black Sox are still banned from but being mentioned. they didn't mentioned. win. They didn't win, though. That doesn't matter. They're all banned for life in Major League Baseball. But this also happened, that also happened in 1903? Right, but they're still banned for life in baseball because at the time they did the most heinous thing that Major League Baseball has ever seen. Just like when Pete Rose bet on baseball. Right. Let me tell you, Pete Rose, if you go to the Major League Baseball Hall of Fame, he has two whole floors of just him. Just oh, him. Just Don't kid you. yourself. But Major League Baseball, he's banned from baseball. When Fox hired him, you don't think Major League Baseball had to okay that? It's just a publicity stunt, Anthony. Pete Rose is very, very inclined with Major League Baseball. Okay, They just don't want him in the Hall of Fame because he tainted the sport, which I don't agree with either because he bet on his team to win. If you, did, what the Astros and Red Sox just did is the worst thing we've ever seen from Major League Baseball. Oh, I agree because you cheated to win a title. So then your punishment needs to be the worst we've ever seen. I, I just, suspending a manager that tried to stop it and a general manager that didn't know anything about it when the owner got nothing. The, you don't think the owner knew? The owner knew. The owner okayed it, and the owner said, you better keep doing this because we're going to win. Tyler, I think that's debatable. In 2020, you know many teams, many teams use different technologies to advantage. Correct. That's why this needs to get nipped in the ass. That's not a fine that's going to nip this in the ass. Okay, hold on. So, body, but hold on. Again in their <laughs> All right. So, are, so you what you're saying is take the take baseball out of it for a second. You're saying you want stricter rules being laid down, not and stricter, stricter rules. Punis- punishments, I'm f- right? The, for, just for the Astros and Red Sox, okay? Because they're the ones that we're talking about, okay. okay? Okay. And when Carlos Beltran gets fired at either eleven o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow or sometime tonight. It's going to be a wrongful firing. The Mets have no reason to fire him. The Mets have no reason at all. Why should the Mets fire Carlos Beltran? The man's never had a manager position ever. So now you're going to suspend the guy and fire the guy for what? For what? He was a player. But he was a player. Public relations, it's a nightmare. Pu- yes. It's a PR nightmare. Right. To keep okay. <laughs> Thank you. So you're yeah, going to suspend. It's already, it's already a PR nightmare to be. The Mets, and now it's a PR nightmare because you have this guy that was the figurehead of this whole problem. But he's not the figurehead. That, that, but but that's the figureheads what, aren't but being suspended at all. What the the me- players did it, and the players Tyler, got nothing. But Tyler, that's what the, okay, that's what the, the media is pushing it as. They were promised immunity. So it was, Anthony, 
but that's what the commu- that listen. That's right. what the media is pushing it as. They're pushing right. it as right. But okay, let's let's just, let's just talk about let's just talk about media for a second. Okay, the media is going to tell you to hate the president. I don't care what the media says. Let's I, just no, let's I, just get this out of the way. I, I got the you. media has nothing on this Tell, at all. I'm not disagreeing with you. Right, right, right. I, what I'm, I'm not. Is I'm not trying to get they, hostile here. But the media is full of ass kissers. They're going to push it to make it, make it seem all right. Since Gore got got the got got hit. Hinge got hit. Come on, what about Carlos Beltran? His name was right up there with Alice Cora was when this whole thing got started. That's fine. And but Alice Cora did it again and benefited, and he took what the Astros did, put it on steroids, and said, yes, look at Einstein's alive again. Look at this. Like, that. that's well, what they did. You, let me ask you this. Did you hear, uh, it was on today in the um, Boomer and Geo show, uh, they broke down the Alex Cora interview from the London series. Where he pretty much said, he said, quote, I think the Yankees' biggest free agent acquisition this year was Carlos Beltran and winked at the media. Literally winked at the media. Carlos, but here's the... What did but that say? That did the Yankees oh, win anything? Oh, or did oh, Alex Cora win something knowing that he was doing something worse? Uh, stop, uh, stop. Well, the Yankees Hold on. Win anything because they ran against a cheating team and that cheated better than we, we can do this all day. We so first of all, all hold on. Now you sound retarded. So the well, Yankees who the pride themselves on. on show, man. Nah, man, who gives a rip? It's character. So when we're talking about legacy of Major League Baseball, right, and when we're talking about purity, now we're dragging, now we're going to drag the Yankees into it. Now you sound like people on here that say Tom Brady cheated too. This is ridiculous, okay? Everyone needs to stop, and everyone needs to really. Now you're saying the Yankees cheated? Listen, listen, I'm the first one to say Aaron Boone's an idiot. I think Aaron Boone has the intelligence to cheat. Okay. First of all, I didn't say the Yankees cheated. I said that Carlos Beltran, who came from the cheating Astros of 17, became a New York Yankees front office head, where then Alex Cora then said in an interview right after the London series, said their biggest free agent acquisition is Carlos Beltran, linked at the media, and then said... But what did Alex Cora actually go do? Some of those things that he's doing. Anthony. Now, do I... That you know what you're falling for? I didn't. I didn't shoot anybody. I didn't shoot anybody at all. That's what you're doing. You're waving a hand here so you can get away with a party here. All Alex Cora did was chuck. What do you mean? What does it mean? You're literally trying to take our attention all the way up here for no reason at all when the discussion's right in front of your nose. Anthony, Alex Cora literally said that because he knew what he was about to do in Boston. Alex Cora is about to be banned for life. That's why he said it. He knows what he was doing. You make no sense. If I do, you called the show. Yes. Whenever you call the show, I literally run in circles with you because you don't get that you're wrong right now. You have to finish, finish your point. Okay. Alex okay. Cora winked okay. at the media. Back wink, into wink. your neutral corners, folks. Back, wink, wink. Back into your neutral corners. The Yankees' best acquisition was Carlos Branchan. Wink, wink. Tone, back into your neutral corner. He hasn't made his point yet. Let Tyler, swing. calm down. We got to talk about Odell. We're running out of time now. Cashman gives a rip what Carlos Beltran thinks? Brian Cashman's walking around Yankee Stadium with his nuts out. He doesn't care what Carlos Beltran thinks. Are you kidding me? Now you sound like an idiot. Brian Cashman has all the answers, man. Brian Cashman does not care what Carlos Beltran thinks. You're talking about a guy that kicked A-Rod out of New York. He don't care what anyone thinks except him. He kicked out Joe Girardi. He kicked out A-Rod. don't know how to win the 2017 World Series. But the Yankees can't be blamed for cheating. They didn't win anything. Do you actually? You might not know this either, but the re- another thing is in 2017, the Yankees did get caught using the video room along with the Red Sox. The only stupid thing is the Red Sox did against 2018, but the Yankees were caught using the video room. But well, what did they actually win? And Major League Baseball is not. I, I understand Anthony's point. 
I do get it. I, but, but hold on. Tyler, you, Everybody you're, uses you're the replay Anthony, room. A, Anthony, All 32. Well, the Miami the, Marlins use the replay we, room. Tyler, you're going to ban the Marlins. What are you going to punish the Marlins for? Tyler, we started they this, suck as it is. Tyler, I started this conversation by telling you if you think that this is the only team we agree that was on doing that. that they, All again, 32 teams do it. And what did I tell you? This team this team has to be the guinea pig. It's unfair, but it's like Listen, That's how you're it a goes. Saints fan. I said the Saints didn't be the guinea pig for a bounty gate, right? Right. We lost the we lost <laughs> the second best coach in football for a whole year. That yeah, completely you, screwed you, up everything. You need you almost murdered two quarterbacks. <laughs> like, do you understand? It's okay, but that but the only two teams got caught, so that's cheating. But then no. the Patriots got oh, caught here we go. videotaping, and then you said that's not cheating. It was a TV what? show. The NFL literally came out two weeks ago and said, yeah, there was nothing to back that up. They're... And the Patriots aren't – hold on. The Patriots will probably get some slap on the wrist, and guess what? They'll go win the division again. They'll go win 11 games again. And all of you are going to come out here when the season st- – the Patriots are just different this year. Tom Brady is low. Tom Brady is old. And he's going to go out there and throw for another 4,000 yards. Throw another 30 touchdowns, win another AFC title, and guess what? He probably win number seven, and then he's going to retire as the GOAT, and that's going to be that. And honestly, if you're taking offense to it like Mike Guido is right now, that's because that's what he does every year, and he's wrong every year. So if you want to keep – what? They won 12 games. What do you mean you were right this year? You wasn't wrong this year. You said the Steelers were going to win the Super Bowl. You were wrong this year. You're nuts. You're on. You're all on serious drugs. It doesn't matter that you think after getting on not laying like that, they would beat the Patriots. You're on drugs. You're smoking it. Guido sat there with me and said the same stuff that Tom Brady's getting old, and you said, "Oh, Tom Brady's the goat. Tom Brady's the best." And in the Patriots, has anyone brought up? Aaron, hold on, hold on, Anthony. Has Aaron Rodgers had a great year this year? Hold on. Forget about talking about Odell. I guess that's not happening. That's what Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So the, he lost the best running back in football. Oh, by God. I'm sorry. Playing the no, best we're, running back in we're football. We're going home. We're so, no, we're not go, no, no, no. We're not going. No, no, no. No, no, no. Shush, shush. Right, so, wait. Has Aaron Rodgers had a bad year, Carragher? Hello? Has Anthony Rodgers had a bad year this year? Yeah, that's what I thought. So, yeah. That's great. That's real classy. That's real great. Anyway. That's why you guys don't talk sports on Sundays, right? No, listen. I got in some heated debates with him before, so. He's going to come in here and. <laughs> Look, like I said, they're not the only, the only team that can actually get caught doing it. And But guess and the- what matters? Who gets caught first and what happens to that team? That's unfair, but that's life. That's just how it goes. In a fight, who gets blamed? The one that threw the first punch. You both threw punches, but who did it first? You did? All right. The punishment's on you. That's life. And if another team does it in a more significant way, they can get caught more. Right. Then I'm not saying the Red Sox don't deserve it. Somebody is going to get suspended for life, and somebody's going to regret it. It won't be the Astros. It'll probably be the Red Sox. Tyler, I enjoy my hearing. So I need you to take it. Well, tell your pal to leave me the hell over. Take about twenty percent off, pal. Okay. Damn, just a little bit. He just pisses me off. Relax. Take a deep breath. He's just so. He's just so clueless. (laughs) Move on, OBJ. Nice segue. He's just. He's just nuts. He's just absolutely out of his mind. Just a beautiful segue. Well, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> well, my <laughs> well, um, well, um, <laughs> my <laughs> um, dancers are doing a great job here tonight. Uh, fantastic stuff. Um, uh, I had a joke, but I don't know if it's appropriate. Be careful what you say. You you got to be careful, man. You, you just <laughs> I'll tell you off air what it is. Um, you, um, tread softly. <laughs> That's all I gotta tell you. No, I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> so now, OBJ. Let's get on okay. to it. Let's calm down for a second. Let's stay, talk so about OBJ. After the national championship game, Aldad Beckham Jr. made his way on the field, celebrating with his okay. fellow LSU alumni. Right. And he is seen taking out money and slapping it up in people's hands. And a, a lot of people thought it was a joke, right? Like, oh, this is fake cash, fake money, blah, blah, blah. I did, too, when I saw it. Right. So, so, so Joe Burrow came out today, and he's like, no, nah, that was real. That was all real. So he wasn't making it rain on him like he was in a strip club. He was just 
He handed was, out money. But Good no, job, he wasn't like doing job, it suspiciously boy. where it's like, oh, here, you know, uh, you did your thing. You know, with it. No, he's like, hey, listen. And then you get people like this. It's okay for his running back to go around punching people, but Odell Payne alumni. Oh, shut up. If Zeke did it, you'd be praising him. Oh, Zeke's great. Look how friendly Zeke is. Leave Odell alone. Shut up. Eat your sandwich. No one needs to hear what you're saying. Just Tyler. Uh, stop. Tyler. Just stop. Tyler, he is an idiot. And I'm going to explain why OBJ oh, is Oh, here idiot. we go again. A, like I tell you, you, you're, you are Odell Beckham Jr. The camera is always going to be on you no matter what. And after everything you've been through in your life in football so far, including the NFL, you would think that doing something like that, you would think twice about doing, because you know how people are going to spin that. So, but how could you spin it? D- d- don't do it at all. Just don't. But, but, but why, don't what was so wrong about all. that? It, you chose where I went listen, to school. It's not about. I am friends with you. It's Here's not, some money for doing your thing. Listen, there's the, nothing wrong with that. But Tyler, I me do it and publicly, you. Though. Yes, but Tyler, Tyler, me and you have just. We, I just told you. I'm upset that guys get Heisman's taken away for selling stuff that they write their own name on, but they can't right. pay nobody to run a ball. This is th- th- that bothers me. But if you think the NCAA is is hard on that situation, what makes you think it's okay for you to walk into a situation like that, start handing out money? And you, they're very sensitive about people get, taking money from friends. Family members, the bum on the street, whatever. They don't want money handed to no college athlete. At the moment, they are still collegiate athletes. I don't care who's going to the NFL, who's not. You are still wearing that unless you on your chest. So you belong, your ass belongs to me. <laughs> that's what the NCAA is trying to tell you. And that's the and, problem. And that's the problem. That's but the problem. And guess what hey, you're doing? You're condoning it. And so Ode- good for no, you. No, no, no. Good for I you. Following nobody, the book. nobody said condoning. They yeah. just said. We just said that no, no. why do it publicly when you can wait two months when he's an NFL player, take him out to a great dinner? <laughs> I, I'm going by the book and the rule of law. He's going to be the number one pick knows. in the draft. He knows the law. Joe Burrow. He knows Joe, the law. Calm you down know, before you can eat Tommy John. It's like Put going out there shooting somebody, but you know that you can't walk out there and shoot somebody. But I'm going to do it anyway. No, just Leave stop. Leave Aaron Hernandez out of this. But stop. That's messed up. Stop. You got to stop. Stop with the... Oh, I, I didn't think it was nothing wrong with it. Clearly, we all don't think it's nothing wrong with it. I don't care what he does with no, his the money. No, the NCAA is. But the NCAA thinks there's something rules. wrong with it. <laughs> they, they have nitpicky rules that they should evolve into. Okay, but still don't give it give money publicly. And don't give them a reason to do anything about you. What rule did he break? Well, first of all, if what I don't rule know did he the break? exact rule in the NCAA exactly. handbook. Go ahead. But I'm Go ahead. Sure, every every smart-ass here. Sure. What rule did he I, break? I'm pretty sure. You're pretty I'm sure. I'm pretty sure somebody cannot You're hand pretty sure. an NCAA player money in their hand right now. You can't do that. <laughs> they, they, like, what do you mean? You can't just walk up to them and hand them 100 dollars How is that fair that it's we're sitting fair. here saying, okay, then. You, so, Odell, you Beck, first of all, Odell ain't going to get it's your choice. dream, your choice. But, but, right. But do you Odell's understand? Odell's choice. Once you Not commit, right. Hells. Once, right. LSU players. But hold on. Once you commit, your ass belongs to the NCAA. And you have to oblige by every rule that's stated in that book. What rule no did he break? No matter what. What rule did he break? They will find one. If they got to create one, they will. See? This there you go. Creating do. one. Stop. But this is what they Creating do. Creating something on the spot money. You can't is take ridiculous. money from coaches, you agencies, companies. People. Odell what? Beckham so Odell Jr. Is, is literally none of those things. Oh, Odell's not his own brand. <laughs> Odell is not a company. He is not Wait, a CEO. You help me out here? He's not is personality. Odell his own brand. Odell is a celebrity that was at a game giving out money. The kid could get in trouble for that. He's putting the kid in jeopardy. Yes, you putting right. everybody else in jeopardy, man. Putting the kid in jeopardy. For taking money? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Listen, you can't do that. <laughs> you can't. You can't just say, "All right, Joe, you're the best quarterback." This. this it wasn't Joe had. Burrow. It right. was a lot of other guys. How Did about? He? All Joe right. Burrow wasn't even on camera with Odell Beckham Jr. at all. Listen. Joe Burrow just said, "See, you see right there. That's the problem. All right. That's the problem. You're all fa- you're all fake news. I almost just dropped a all major right, bomb. All right, who was you're all that? fake you know news. Joe who Burrow, was? I didn't see take any money. He just said the money was real. Do you That's know all Joe Burrow said. Who it was? I know it was you know. Robinson. 
And then he went up to a guy after that, and his jersey was covered. That's all I know. Okay. Listen. Those are the only two guys I saw. So guess what? Because two guys took money from Odell Beckham Jr. By the way, I would bet to venture, because Odell Beckham Jr. is from that neighborhood. He probably knew those kids for a long time. So I'm probably I'm sure. Not, I am not going to sit here and tell you that it's, that it's right for them to punish anybody to do that. Even if but it was you in are. a joking manner. But what I'm but going you to are t- condoning it. I'm That's going what to you're tell doing. you by the rule of law, they, what they, have, rule, a, they have a gripe over this. They've been having gripes over this for years, man. You cannot take you can't take money from anybody. It's like That's you, how people get it, into scandals. It, this, this is It wasn't a scandal. It was on national TV. Odell Heisman, looked at the camera and whipped out his money. It wasn't a scandal. Ask the Fab Five what happened to them for taking money from a friend. What happened to him? The whole, what the happened whole to them? They all went to the league. It, 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 this, they but, all went to the league. But that's not the point. Something the that you bust your ass for throughout your whole collegiate career got taken away from you. It got expunged like it was nothing. Like it never happened. It, you, you if they do strip that. away, if they strip away this, and first of all, no, this is the most do dominant season do we've they're seen in a long time. But, but they, what they would, what they would do, they would find something wrong with it. This is what this, this is what this, this is what they do. The same way they found something wrong with Reggie Bush, the same way they found something wrong with everyone else, they will find something wrong with this. You can't, you cannot, you, you have to understand the environment you're in. You also have to understand the company that you keep. You have to pay attention to what you're about to do. And you, he should have thought before doing that. That's all I'm saying. Because you now don't. I mean, I'm sure he did think about OBJ. It. They care about those kids that's getting handed this money because now. See, names hold on though. No. That's BS. Else. That's like, BS. What you just said, and you can't fully believe that. If it was anyone else, not Odell Beckham Jr., no, would we be talking about it? You didn't even know he gave the money to. Listen. You literally just said it was Joe Burrow, and Joe Burrow was not seen I taking thought, a dime. I thought you were so you up have Joe no Burrow. no. Joe Burrow came out and said it was real cash. You said Joe Burrow took money. Okay. I don't okay, know who got money. All I know is we're sitting around here speculating what happened. Nobody knows the truth, but you're ready both to suspend these kids. It makes no I sense. Never, it makes no sense. Them. You just said strip the away the title. Over. What's no, the difference? No. No, we said that they won't strip no, away the title. No, there's no way they'll strip away the title. The, the only way they would strip away the title is if the money was involved to recruit players, not – So, right. And was he recruiting anybody just No. Now? All right, then. So what's the difference? No, I'm saying What why? rule did he break? I didn't None. Say, it's just public perception is. I didn't say. Huh. I think Odell Beckham Jr. is going to get in trouble for this. did anything wrong. It's not the kids, <laughs> Speedy. Stop with the kids. It doesn't matter about the kids. LSU came out today with a statement saying that they fully investigated the situation. There's nothing to investigate. Odell Beckham Jr. paid kids for winning a national championship. Oh, now you know why I don't show up on Thursdays for this show. This is ridiculous. You're nuts. You're all nuts. Well, why do it Is Eric no. Bow here? <laughs> Hello. Why get do it ready. publicly when get they can ready. get exposed? That's what I want to know. Just because what's getting exposed? He didn't do anything wrong. You literally just said they have to make up a rule to get him I in trouble. I know the kid didn't do anything wrong. What Odell I'm did nothing is, wrong either. Publicly? I would have done the same. Yeah. Publicly what? He publicly? gave. He said, good job. You won a national championship. You, Here's you, some you, money. You Go put, out and treat your family. But, what's wrong with that? But you, There's nothing wrong with that. This country is based idea. on the American dream, and you're spitting on it. That's what you guys are doing right now. Do stop. You, you stop. Stop being – stop with the liberal you're, crap you're, for five uh, seconds, okay? I'm, what, we're I'm s- not even – No, not we're not. Liberal, well, not no, I'm not saying you are not. But, but the whole fact here is that now we're talking about taking things away that somebody earned, all right? They earned it. They got it. That's point blank period. If it would have been the other way around and Donald Trump was giving out money to somebody else, would we talk about it right now? Probably. Listen. It's the same rule. It's the, it doesn't change anything. There's it's, it's, we they it's how it's being perceived. Do you understand? Right. And, you're and public every, perception you're putting, is, I'd say, eighty percent wrong at best. And, and look, and as, being the nice as way. we as like we said from the beginning, we I'm not sitting here saying what he did was absolute. For me personally, I can care less. But for looking at the way that this organization has operated, the NCAA. And looking at how they are and how strict they are about every little minute detail about everything, they there will be. They should have given field this. access, but why'd you give Odell field access? Because you wanted the camera on him and money out to people at the end of the game, Tyler. They Nobody wanted the camera on this. him, Rodney. Stop! But they listen, brought Odell because okay. Odell would have been the biggest but star on the field, but that doesn't have and they put to the camera him. right on and him. If you're Odell, you I wouldn't be surprised the NCAA knew he was going to do it. Do something stupid like that to put any more. Any more negativity and 
put yourself in any more negative light, but also put more these negative possible... light. What has Odell done? But listen, he wants yeah. out of Cleveland. Hell, I'd want out of Cleveland. No, no, we're, we're not. We're, we're not, not bashing smoke. Odell for doing what he did with these players. We're. I think it's, it's more a, of how he did it. So, it's that also I think we're like it's all right. The cameras. Odell Beckham Jr. Listen to me, please, because I'm so sick and tired of people bashing you for no reason. Don't do anything public anymore. Everyone here is so sensitive, and they're so worried about what you're doing. Just stop. Just stop doing anything in public. Don't even go outside, as a matter of fact. Go from your house to the field on Sunday and back to your house. Don't do anything in between, because everything you do gets brought up in such a negative way anyway. It's a joke. If people don't want to see your face, don't let them see your face. it's not specifically him. We're just saying that the... NCAA, as of right now, has some nitpicky rules that one of those things could be... For the thousandth time, what rule did he break, Speedy? Okay, hold on. What, why did Chase Young get suspended? For two games? Yeah. <laughs> the guy that he took money from has association with somebody in the league. Odell Beckham Jr. is a wide receiver. All right, who's going to be more publicly known? What does that, what does be that more have to do with anything? Who's, who's Odell going to coerce him to go to in the league? Nobody. What? Who did o- Odell said, got him to LSU? Odell didn't draft those kids to go to LSU. I didn't say he didn't them. recruit them. I didn't say him. So what's the what difference? What Stop what saying big deal. Stop I saying Odell know. specifically. We're not but saying that's that. who did it. Okay, but I'm that's, saying you're making is, a brand like it's happened right, before. Is an NFL it's literally player, this right. one instance. Is it? Is an NFL player or you're wrong all the time? So I know you know what that means. Is an NFL player that's a well-known player or whoever Chase Young? You can talk all you want. I really don't care what you're saying. Young inherited money from is who's going to be more well-known. That's the smartest thing I've ever heard you say, actually, and you lipped it, He's so good job. What would you just say? All right. An uh, NFL player, regardless of who it is, who's going to be more well-known? Uh, an NFL player that's good or even just average, a starting NFL player, or the guy Chase Young inherited money from? Publicly? Yeah. Who's going to be more well-known? Odell Beckham Jr. Correct. So... Why risk it in that kind of light mm-hmm. on camera when mm-hmm. it's all around yeah. you? You should both be, no, be smarter, aren't you, play as an older Mike, player, yeah, yeah, a huh? veteran, uh-huh. supposed to be uh-huh. teaching these young kids, listen, let's right. not do that. Right. Why risk it? I have no problem with him treating these guys and celebrating with them. I, I have no problem with that. It's just I, the I don't understand why exactly. everyone has such a big exactly. deal about this. So you drive 57 on the, on the L-I-double-R? On the, uh, on the L-I-double-R? No, you can't drive on the L-I-double-R. Yeah, you can, actually. You can. Yeah, you can. Is it frowned upon? No, it's not. You actually get honked off the road. It's frowned upon because it's illegal. It's not frowned upon. If you go 57, you're probably going to get pushed out of the lane you're in. If you're not going at least 60 on the... What do you mean? You're an idiot. Do you not drive on the LIE? If you're going 57, you are got somebody up your ass. All right, then. So you not only are you wrong, you're a hypocrite, too. That's a great job. You. Dude, you say that all the time. There's two seats here with two microphones. No one's it. scared of you, Carragher. You can sit here wherever you want. Uh, let's, let's wrap this up, please. Speedy, tell them where they can find us. Facebook, Twitter, Periscope, YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, iHeartRadio, TuneIn Radio, SoundCloud, Spotify, iTunes, on our website at WorldWideSportsRadio.com. And we are one of only... I will not be back next Thursday. 16! <laughs> sports, radio, networks, and podcasts on Radio.com. That's great. Tell them goodbye, Speedy. Thanks for listening, and have a glorious night. (laughs) See ya! You're, you're, You're listening to the Worldwide Sports Radio Network.